Gather round, pile in. It's almost time to play party, people. Hey you, it's me, Sarah Priebus, your host for today's show. I know, we got a lady in the house. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna bite. You can get closer. I don't have H cuties, but you know what I do have? I have a pile of questions. Well, actually just 12, but I have an even bigger pile of cash, $1,500 to be exact. The last time I was here, there was under 100,000 people, so this is nuts. <laughs> but here we are. HQ is a live trivia game, it's free. I'll ask you 12 questions and they start off a cinch, but by the end, they'll make your brain pinch. Tap the correct answer, you move on, and if you do that 12 times, you're a winner. You split the pot with the rest of the winners, or maybe you'll be the lucky one that claims the entire prize, which I saw this week. If nobody wins, sure, slightly embarrassing, but the money gets added to the next game, so no biggie. The prize is $1,500, that's right. That's crazy, this is insane. This is really insane. We have over 331,000 players piled in the HQ universe today. Oh, hey Courtney Yates, Anika Rashan, and Mike Janella. I didn't know you were gonna be here. <laughs> Means a lot, guys. Let's do this, and by this I mean win HQ and get some extra money for that holiday shopping. You know, you can also spend that on yourself. I approve. Okay, let's get down to this. Question one. Motorcycle companies is American. Yamaha, Harley Davidson, Moto Guzzi. I know we've got some motorcycle enthusiasts out there. Which company is American? The answer is Harley Davidson. I have to say, I'm a little scared of motorcycles, uh, but 25% of Harley riders are women. 303,000 people got that right. Congratulations, you're moving on. Yeah, girl, love it. Here we go, question two. Which of these painters is famous for doing self-portraits? Rembrandt, Jackson Pollock, or Bob Ross? Known for self-portraits, not a landscape, not abstract art. Abstract was Jackson Pollock, Bob Ross did landscape, so that leaves Rembrandt for the self-portraits. That was Rembrandt, and he wasn't shy about painting selfies. He made over 40 of them. Over 180,000 of you got that. You know, you like taking those selfies, maybe. Maybe you like painting the selfies, like Rembrandt. It's kind of fun as a hobby, right? I think so. Let's move on to question three. Which 70s song begins, you can dance, you can jive. Jive talking, dance the night away, or dancing queen. It's hard for me to say these lyrics without dancing or giving away the title, but it's good because the answer is dancing queen. It makes me want to dance. You can dance, you can jive. 124,000 of you got that right. Oh my gosh, every time I hear this song, I need to dance immediately. Anyone right there with me? especially when I'm tipsy. Okay, 124,000 people having the time of their lives right now, so let's move on to question four. Where is the highest elevation in Africa? Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, Mount Gesi. I will tell you, all of these are in Africa. Which is the highest? The answer is Kilimanjaro. Did you get it right? Did you get Kilimanjaro right? Over 107,000 of you did, which means there are more people playing HQ right now than people who climbed that mountain last year. Only 30,000, only 30,000 climbed it. So we're basically climbing a mountain right now, guys. This is pretty exciting. Let's move on to the next question. Where do fire ants get their name? Resistance to heat, painful stings, or live above ground? I hope you haven't had an encounter with a fire ant. Uh, and they do thrive in warm environments. They do live above the ground, but it's their painful stings where they get their name from. And let me tell you, I've actually been stung by a fire ant. Ooh, over 97,000 of you maybe got stung along with me or maybe just got the right answer. But it happened to me on vacation and it seriously burned. I don't, oh, I don't even want to think about it. 
Let's move on to the next question. Who is the only man aside from Vladimir Putin to be president of Russia since 2000? Dmitry Medvedev, Boris Nemstov, or Boris Yeltsin? Who is the only man aside from Putin? Which of these things is not like the other? It's not Boris, it's not Boris. It's Dmitry Medvedev, Dmitry Medvedev. And over 41,000 of you knew that. Yeah, he came in in 08 and he left in 2012. Medvedev means of the bears in Russian. But personally, I think he looks more like a cub. Let me know your thoughts on that one. And let's move on to the next question. Which of these cheeses is not smear ripened? Port Salut, Gouda, or cream cheese? I know we have our cheese lovers out there, but do you know how it's made? Do you know how the cheese is made? Are you staying in for the next round? The answer is Gouda. Older cheeses are smeared. What? Wait. Oh, tw oh my gosh. 20,000 of you knew that. Maybe you just like to eat the Gouda. Maybe you actually know how it's made. But it is when older cheeses are smeared with younger ones to transfer the desired bacteria. I have to tell you, though, for me, I like to smear the Gouda with some Pinot Noir. That's just me. Let's move on to question eight. Dinosaur fossils have never been found in which of these states? Florida, Delaware, or New York? All busy growing up making dioramas, but did we actually learn where fossils were found? The answer is Florida. Any of you uh, still taking your Flintstones vitamins? 80, oh my gosh. Over 8,000 of you are still in the game, so maybe you are still taking your Flintstones vitamins. That's what dinosaurs make me think of, and I'm taking mine. So we have over 8,000 people in the game. They're alive and thriving. They're not fossils, and we're moving on to number nine together. Who was introduced to the universe in TV's The Star Wars Holiday Special? Lando Calrissian, the Ewoks, or Boba Fett. Did you watch your Star Wars? Maybe you didn't watch it, but maybe you know this. The answer is Boba Fett. And this is a little tricky. Aha! Over 2,000 of you still in the game, not tricked by this one. So this is why it was tricky. It was his first time speaking. Now, if you wanted to say which was his first appearance, it gets very muddled by the updated version of A New Hope. But that's all right, because it looks like we have over 2,800 people moving on to the next question. I know, it was a fierce one, it was fierce, but we're down to 2,800, and 2,800 are moving on to question 10. I'm so psyched for you guys. Here we go. What is the specialty name for a horseshoe maker? Farrier, locksmith, or cobbler? Horseshoes are lucky. I collect them, I really do. Uh, but it's not a locksmith, and cobblers make shoes. So the answer is farrier. Yeah, it's a farrier, and 1,864 of you got that right. You're moving on to the next round. It's basically a blacksmith that specializes in hooves. This, honestly, this is incredible. Either it's your lucky day or your spawn of Einstein. I don't know. Which, whatever one it is, maybe it's the horseshoe question that gave you luck, but we're, we're moving on to question 11. Which Oscar-winning British actor appeared in both The Longest Day and A Bridge Too Far? Sean Connery, Peter O'Toole, or Michael Caine? All amazing actors, all with impressive resumes. But the Oscar-winning actor in these two films is Sean Connery. It was Sean Connery, did you get it? 453 of you did get it. 453 of you, wow. Yeah, Connery didn't win any Oscars as 007, but he did win a Best Supporting for playing a B-cop that tutors Elliot Ness. So we've got 453 of you moving on to the final question. I, I can't believe this. This game started with over 300,000 players, and after 11 questions, we only have 400 people playing for the big prize. If you've made it this far, pat yourself on the back, guys. Pull yourself together and get ready to win HQ because you're you're this close. Question 12. Ha! <laughs> Here we go. What makes Reef Blower a unique episode of SpongeBob SquarePants? Has no dialogue. Has bleeped swears. All the same voice actor. 
Are you a SpongeBob fanatic? Are you going to be a winner today? A winner of HQ, a winner of $1,500? Did you hear the rumor that there was an episode where the entire cast got food poisoning? No, I'm just kidding. We made that up. It is true, though, that there is an episode that swears, there's swears that aired with bleeps, but it's not Reef Blower. So the correct answer is that there's no dialogue in the whole episode. Oh my gosh, we have winners. Congratulations. <laughs> Like Santa today, 235 winners. You guys all got to split the money. Everybody of those 235 winners is walking away with six dollars and 38 cents. Wow, I'm honestly impressed. Those were some hard questions. So you guys.